settings on your iPhone or iPad. All right, on here, you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi connection. It's gonna bring up all the network information on here. The only thing you need is this one right here that says Wi-Fi OBD2. And as soon as it connects to it, you're gonna go ahead and have a check mark. And that means the app is gonna be good to go as soon as we connect to it. So let's go ahead and select the app. All right, so here goes the user interface for DigiDash. And it has all your information on here in the top middle is your fuel gauge left you have your miles per hour gauge uh, you have your coolant temperature on the bottom left and on the right hand side is your rpm gauge and your oil temperature uh, gauge and then in the center right below the fuel gauge you'll see a little battery for voltage um, information that's on there from your vehicle all right so to begin the application we're going to go ahead and select start now you're going to get to this screen here or on the top it says waiting for obd2 information now that's going to start as soon as you select the start OBD2. Now if you ever run into any problems with the OBD2 or the user interface is locking up not feeding in data you're going to select the second option which is the restart. Um, of course if you want to stop all real-time data from feeding into the application you select stop. Uh, the return button is basically to return to the original uh, screen where it has all the gauge information on there. So we're going to go ahead and get started and select on the start OBD2. Alright so now that it's starting you see the starting at the top you select the return button and now all your gauges should be having all the information that they need on there all right so you see your battery voltage changed mile per hour went to zero your cooling gauge is working the oil temperature gauge is working the rpms is working here it's saying 8 800 right now so let's go ahead and try to get an angle here where i can show you the vehicle uh, let's, yeah, let's put it right here you can see all right so I'm go ahead and hit the gas and you're going to see the RPM gauge and that is working. So there we go at 3000. Lower it down. All right, so this is all real time. All right, so we're going to go ahead, get ready, get on the road here. And we're in a little area where it's a all country road, so it's a safe environment for me to use this phone. But I do not condone driving and recording. I'm only doing this for the video to show how this application works. And like I said, this the same way that I'm setting this application up works for the other ones that I have in the App Store, RPE Dash, RPE Speed, uh, 720S, which is the McLaren 720S dashboard interface. Um, but this one is DigiDash. All right, and they're available on iPhone and on the iPad. So let's go ahead and put the car in the drive and we look the rear view mirrors, make sure no one's on the road here as I get going and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right. We're on the road, then we'll turn on the wipers there. We're on the road here, and you see all the information is feeding in 30 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and pick the gas up some here. Right, so I'm on a road that's 45 miles an hour on here. As you see, the application works perfectly fine. If you have any further questions on how this application works, any suggestions on future applications you want me to build as far as dashboard interfaces on the iPhone or iPad.